Hello, my name's Leo Bestwick Menel from Hanson Classic. I'm here in North Nottinghamshire to look at something just a little bit special. In 1987, a gentleman reversed his car down this driveway and into that garage for the last time. Today, we're going to see that car for the first time. When this car was put away in 1987, it only completed 38,000 from new, and it had only been owned by one person. I'm so excited. Hi. And this is all the paperwork, Leo, that Wonderful. I've got belonging okay. to the car. Wow, look at that. The original, even a photo of his old car that he, oh, wow. that he had before this one. Wow. So a bit of a fanatic. Unbelievable. So the this is the V5, is it? Yeah. Let's have a look at the V5. Okay. So n number of form of keepers. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah. First acquired on the 11th of the 1st, 1984. Wow. And that's the documentation to say when we last said MOT. Right. Okay. Amazing. That's fantastic. And then Workbooks and the service, service plan. plan and everything that's amazing. That you need for all original. Look at the condition of that, and it's stamped. Even amazing. <laughs> Going out to 1986, just yeah. before it. And here's the brochures. Oh wow! Fact, this is the actual. There's other brochures. This is the actual brochure that Joan and Jeff picked the car from. Yeah, there's some notework in there okay. as well. Let's have a look at that. Looking out cost oh wow they've actually got the specification of what it was that they were ordering yeah how much they got for the other car on that photo yeah and how much they paid for it that's amazing <laughs> look at the condition of this book unbelievable and uh, this has got the linings for the sunroof right okay lining. and of course some more brochures and this is actually the owners. Oh, wow. So that's Jeff Joan and, and yeah. Je Jeff, yes? Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So, that's that's wonderful. I, I can't believe the condition of this. This is, I'm so excited to go and look at the car. I kept everything together, Paul, yeah. Thank, fantastic. Really good. Right, well, I suppose what we should be doing now is getting the keys and go and have a look in the garage and see what we've got. How is it that this car ended up in this garage? Well... John couldn't drive, right. unfortunately. So when Jeff passed away, mm. although she got good friends down where she lived in Kent, weren't family. So of course she came to live up here. This bungalow came for sale. Yeah. So she sold their property down in Ashford, and I did all the details for this one up this end. And of course she came to move up here, hence the Capri had to come with her because it was a well, both of them's pride and joy. So. Right. Hence, it's in here. It's been here ever since. Ever since. Wow. Oh, well, I can't wait to see it. Are Ooh. you ready? Yes. Well, I'm getting a few pins and needles just uh, looking at the cover of the car. Let's have a look and see what we've hand. got. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh my. And this, this has been in here since 1987. That's unbelievable. Look at this. A Mark III 1.6 LS Ford Capri with only, what, is it 38,000 miles on the clock? Yeah. It is unbelievable. We've still got the original covers. Wow. The car, what she put on. I can't yeah. believe it. This car has not come out of here for such a long time. This is unbelievable. And we can see it's been wrapped so well, blown away. Yeah. So we've put in some fresh fuel, put on a new battery, and now it's the moment of truth. So we're gonna see if she'll start. Turn her on, Jim. Yes, we've got it, yes. Thank you. 
In 1965, 4GB and Ford Germany collaborated on a £20 million project to develop a fast, fun and cheap coupe for the European masses. Ford had already released the Mustang in the US and Europe was crying out for an alternative. As it was, they developed what they were to call the Ford Colt. Unfortunately, the Colt name was not to be. Mitsubishi took Ford to court and Ford lost. Therefore, the Ford Capri was born. Penned to attract a younger audience with its long nose and short tail, fake air vents on the side, and a slogan that read, the car you always promised yourself. Production started two months before launch to ensure that every Ford dealer had one on their forecourt, and when they arrived, they were launched with a price of £890. By 1976, the Mark II Capri was halfway through its life, and Project Carla, the plan to replace the Mark II with the Mark III, commenced and with a limited budget of £480,000 they came up with this. At some point in 1983 a couple from Kent flicked through this specific car catalogue to pick the next car of their dreams. They flicked through the glossy pages of the Ford magazine and came across the Ford Capri LS. So what's even more magical about this car, we have the catalogue they used to pick the car, we also have the list of what they wrote down of what they wanted, a 1600 LS with Caspian blue paint, sunroof, vinyl roof, side stripes in red or white, it looks like they went for a three stage white, and they got an approximate value for their Mark I Capri of £3,000 back in 1984. How amazing is that? So. We know this car's only done 36,000 miles from new. It's only had one owner. We have the catalogue they used to order the car. We have the list of what they actually wanted to specify with this car. It's been parked up since 1987. It's absolutely immaculate given that situation. And it's going in our September sale with a guide price of 10 to 12,000 pounds. Thank you. 